Despite operating the most advanced fighters in the world, the United States still equips its stealth jets, such as the F-22 and F-35, with fundamentally the same air-to-air -air missiles that were utilized during Desert Storm over two decades ago. The latest AMRAAM variant, the AIM-120D, is the main weapon for American fighters for beyond visual range combat. It includes a two-way data link, superior navigation through a GPS-enhanced inertial measurement unit, a much larger no-escape zone, and improved high-angle off-bore sight capability, and an increase in range by 50% for max strike envelope of about 167 kilometers, or 105 miles. The most advanced Sidewinder variant, the AIM-9X, is a very agile and reliable short-range weapon and was recently used to down a Chinese balloon that was thought to be used for spying over the U.S. mainland. While these missiles are considered to be some of the best air-to-air -air missiles, the designs are showing their age, and near-peer rivals are upping the ante. M variant of the Russian R-37 adds an additional rocket booster stage, extending its range to as far as 250 miles or 400 kilometers. Chinese PL-15 uses a dual-pulsed solid-fueled rocket for propulsion and has a range of 124 miles or 200 kilometers. The U.S. military industrial complex is working to regain the edge, not only in terms of range, but also loadout. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what new air-to-air -air missiles will arm American fighter jets. Let's get started. The AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, or JATM, is an American Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile BV RAM, under development by Lockheed Martin. Designed to address advanced threats, the missile is expected to replace or supplement the AIM-120 AMRAAM currently in U.S. service from 2024. The AIM-260 program began in 2017. As per reports, the missile will have similar dimensions to the AIM-120 in order to ensure a minimal disruption of launch platform technology and ensure compatibility with currently operational fighters. The capability set to be offered by this missile remains classified, but it's expected to pip the Chinese PL-15 in range and agility. While very little is known about the Modular Advanced Missile, or MAM, a reference to which first appeared in a U.S. Air Force budget document, we do know that the weapon could soon be test-fired from a fighter jet. The public first got wind of this program in the U.S. Air Force Research, Development, Test and Evaluation Appropriations portion of the branch's 2023 fiscal year budget request. There's no clear information related to the seeker, propulsion system, or capabilities of this missile. The use of the word modular likely points to the fact that the missile could have swappable propulsion systems, warheads, or seekers. Boeing is the one developing this and has also secured some funding from Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL. In 2017, the Pentagon revealed that Raytheon was already two years deep into the development of another potential AMRAAM replacement, known only as the Long Range Engagement Weapon, or LREW. Concept images show a large two-stage missile launched from an internal weapons bay of an F-22 Raptor. There have been some reports that the LREW is too big to fit in the F-22 or F-35 internal weapons bay and is suited for the F-15 EX Eagle II or B-21 Raider or NGAD, which is the next generation air dominance fighter. LREW seems to be designed to engage vulnerable enemy targets such as AWACS from safe standoff distances. While the weapon will use state-of-the-art technologies, it will also leverage technology Boeing developed for other projects. Raytheon, which is a developer, describes Peregrine as a small, fast, lightweight air-to-air -air weapon 
for use against drones, manned aircraft, and cruise missiles. Importantly, the company notes, because of additive manufacturing and readily available materials, the missile is low cost. It's also lighter and smaller, effectively doubling the number of missiles that current fighter jets can carry. It weighs just over 150 pounds, or 68 kilograms, and at 6 feet long, it's actually only about half the size of the AIM-120 AMRAAM, but offers a similar range and overall performance. Raytheon states Peregrine can seek out targets, even in bad weather, due to its sophisticated sensor, guidance, and propulsion systems. It can be integrated into 4th and 5th generation fighter jets and is compatible with current launch gear. CUDA is being developed as part of the Small Advanced Capabilities Missile, or SACM. It's a Lockheed Martin multi-role hit-to-kill HTK missile concept. The missile will not have any warhead and will rely on kinetic energy to destroy the threat. The missile will have a much smaller size and fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Joint Strike Fighter will be able to carry two to three times the numbers. The dimensions will be similar to SDB or small diameter bomb. CUDA is not expected to have IIR, Imaging Infrared Seeker, but will be radar guided. Boeing's long range air to air missile, or LRAM, was first unveiled in 2021 with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory awarding a continued development contract to the firm in 2022. The award will run through September 28, 2027. The missile features a two-stage design, similar to multi-stage rockets. Upon firing, the booster stage propels the forward kill vehicle a certain distance, providing an initial burst of speed. Subsequently, the booster separates and the kill vehicle engages its own rocket booster to close in on the target. The anticipated benefits of the two-stage design includes increased speed, range, and maneuverability, as it allows for distinct propulsion approaches for the initial flight and more dynamic terminal guidance. As per Boeing, it doesn't see this missile as a potential replacement for the AMRAAM or as a competitor for any other current missile program, but rather as a new capability altogether for American jets. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.